This tutorial is about our new tool for you which will help you to design the DSS project. We are talking about DSS design tool where you can find it. Under products on our web page you got the software section. So click over here. Or you can go and go to type directly to your browser, browser software.dahuasecurity.com and you will be on the same page. So this and that page is exactly the same as you can see. Okay, once you are on this page, you can go to support and over here you will find DSS design tool, license management pl uh, platform and the download section. In the download section, you can actually download the DSS, data sheets, manual, sports lists and so on and so on. In DSS design tool, what you can do, first of all, you can create a new project or you can import the projects which you created before. This time we are going to create a new one. Then you can see the limits of the system over here and click next. In the next step you are going to add devices. What kind of devices you can add? Encoders or video channels, let's say. Access control, let's say lift control, video intercom, alarm controller, metal detector and so on and so on as you can see. Lots of our devices are already integrated in DSS. Then click OK. In the next step, you will choose how many encoders do we have. Let's say I have uh, 20 NVRs. Each of them got 32 channels. So 640 cameras in the system. And I will do redundancy recording also on the server and also on the NVRs in this scenario. Access control. How many access control devices we have? Let's say uh, 60. And out of those 60 uh, access control devices, we have also some which got the camera. For example, our FACT devices, ASI devices. So uh, let's say 40 of them got the video channels. I have video intercom. I have 60 video intercom units and 20 alarm controllers and 20 walkthrough metal detectors. So altogether 60, uh, 640 cameras, 60 doors, 60 intercoms, 20 alarm controllers and 20 walkthrough metal, uh, wall metal detector. Then we need, to or we need to add what kind of cameras we have, right? Because each purpose got different requirements. So we got a couple of them are face recognition, couple of them video metadata, a uh, couple of them for ANPR and people counting, let's say. So for the face recognition, I have 20 cameras. For video metadata, I have 20. For ANPR, I have 20. And let's say also for people counting 20 to make it easy. And click next. In the next, what we are looking for, we are going to write a storage. As you know, I have 640 cameras. Let's say on 300 of them, I would like to make additional recording, not only to NVR, but let's say redundancy also to our DSS platform. So I will select, okay, it's a full HD resolution, H265. I want to have 24 hours recording for 14 days. Number of channel of full HD will be 100. Click OK. Then I will add another, I will have uh, 8 megapixel cameras, H265, again, daily stora uh, storage duration 24 hours, and uh, let's say 14 days, again over here, and again 100 channels, and click OK. So now we, need, now we know also how much storage we know we need for those cameras which are stored on the other server. If you want to store something based on motion detection, you can choose your channels over here. Let's say additional 20 channels will be stored based on motion detection. Click OK. Then we have the picture storage. Of course, you know, we are doing the snapshot screenshots all the time when the person uh, is captured or the metadata are captured and those pictures got some size. 
This is just the estimation of course and we need to do this estimation for the project so we are calculating also the storage for the pictures not only for the video recordings. So for example face recognition channels I said we will have 20 of them per day let's say it's a busy scenes and all together we will have 20,000 pictures every day. We will have also 20,000 pictures of video metadata and I don't know 10,000 pictures of ANPR alarm with the pictures let's say 500 so we calculate how much actually we need uh, storage for those pictures and we are storing the pictures for 14 days let's say it's up to you and click next again now we are going to choose also the output bandwidth from the our DSS system so how many users will be connected to our DSS or how many channels will be retrieved so let's say uh, I'm not going with the fixed mode right now so choosing some uh, resolutions I will go with the custom mode now let's say I will give to all of the users the secondary stream which is up to one megabit right and uh, I will have for those uh, sites let's say 10 operators so all together they might watch uh, each of them let's say 32 cameras 320 channels will be watched all the time uh, from my servers I will have also the video wall and on the video wall I will show in full all in full HD resolution uh, all the time I don't know 80 cameras and click OK so we are also calculating outbound bandwidth then picture bandwidth uh, if we are going uh, with the alarm or face recognition and we are reviewing all those videos we need to count not only with the picture size but also with the bandwidth size of the cameras when they are pop up so let's say for the face recognition at the same time so this is concurrent connections let's say 20 over here video metadata 20 ANPR 5 alarm with the picture 5 in the same time no more and click next again so as you can see we are really calculating all kind of scenarios for the bandwidth so your system is stable then events without the pictures are we going to have events without the pictures uh, yes uh, 500 or sorry 50 in the peak in the same second access control how many people will walk through the doors at the same second at the same time so let's say again 50 and click next then over here we can store also those data how many days we want to restore we are not going to change anything over here this is without the picture so we can store it for one month and click next now the system is asking us are you going to use as you can see in our scenario we got already one main server and two sub servers so three servers for our big project we can choose central server will be only for the management let's say we will put like 800 cameras this will be automatically changed and turned off once we reach four servers we are using the central server only for central management so kind of secretary for our system we can choose also hot standby server if we want to our central master server or we can choose also n plus m redundancy in our system what does it mean we can have a free failover solution so let's say for for those free sub servers which I have I want to have one redundant server so in case uh, any of those servers goes down this redundant server will take its place okay click next now are you going to add some additional add-ons modules like attendance or parking lot or you want us to do some custom development service or you want to have to do as the channel maintenance service you can do this of course you don't if you if you are going to do it by yourself let's say you are going to add a parking lot so you can just click on parking lot system and click next congratulations actually you finish with your design as you can see I have type over here one main server so uh, the server which will manage all the project then three servers where I will record and uh, where all the 640 cameras will be connected and recorded 
Then n plus m, so for the failover scenario, you need additional server. Then number of the licenses which I need. As you can see, I have 640 licenses over here. So what does it mean for me for, with, the, with the licensing? I need 624 licenses and one base license. So it gives 640 altogether. Then we have access control, same over here. 16 is the base license, so additional 40 for licenses need to be bought. 60 license for video intercom, 20 license for alarm controller and 20 for walkthrough detector. So I will just scroll down to confirm that I was correct. So as you can see, base package, 44 licenses, 64 VDP, 20 over here, one parking module which we add, 20 uh, uh, the detectors, uh, metal detectors licenses, and that's it. So all the codes, licenses are over here. So you cannot make that mistake afterwards. Then, what else we are going to have? Uh, over here we are going to have 20 cameras for the face recognition, 24 video metadata, 24 NPR, 24 people counting. There is no special license needed for that. For the add-on, we add entrance, exit, or let's say parking module into our system. All the storage we will need, it's for the DSS servers, not talking about the NVRs, is 152 terabytes. There is also written incoming and outgoing bandwidth. As you can see, this output bandwidth 64 uh, megabits and incoming is 1.6 gig, a little bit more than 1.6 gig. Okay, arms with the picture. So all the data are summarized over here. Now you can save the configuration file, of course, and you can also download the PDF. The configuration file which you save, you can reopen again in our config tool. If you're choosing to download PDF, you can do this as well. This is a really nice document to handle to your customers. So over here you got a DSS configuration result, the date, the name of the project which you created, and whole table actually from the last page, which you can handle to your customer. Okay, this tool is very easy to use, very useful, I guess, for you. So I'm really be, I will be really happy to hear your feedback and also to use this configuration tool. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a nice week.